everyone and welcome back to my channel JRC Restoration Decor and Designs and my name is Phyllis and here on my channel I share DIYs, home decor, goodwill thrift hauls and more. And in today's video I'm going to share with you something that I shared with others the after of what it looked like um, on my Instagram page and in my community tab and here it is coming up I displayed it on my table that I just absolutely loved how it looked and this was done again on Monday and I was so proud of it. Um, I got up on Tuesday to edit the video. And while editing, this is what happened. I've already cleaned up the glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you all what I think caused this to happen. But then I'm going to also share with you what I can do to rectify this. And if you're interested in seeing all of that, then just keep watching. And I want to thank you all for stopping by. I am hot now but not mad. It's an acronym that I got from watching Michael Todd. If some of you all know him, he's a um, minister out of Tulsa. And HOT stands for Humble, Open, and Transparent. This is what my piece looked like the day after I shared it with you all. That was Monday, today is Tuesday. And I am literally sitting down in this chair editing the video of how I put this together when I heard a crash. So I'm going to share with you all the best steps to take to make this stable so it doesn't fall if you decide to put this together. Okay, so I wanted to share with you all. Um, I don't know too many people that may save these. And if you are a diehard DIYer and save just about everything like me that you think there's potential for something to be done with in the future, um, then you may not hold on to these pieces that come from scotch tape. So you can go to the napkin rings that are sold at the Dollar Tree and they come in six in a pack and it sits in. Of course, this one is a little smaller, but it still sits in and you'll still get the same effect. However, that little sponge part, you can get, um, I would say, let me see, I think I got one, the styrofoam rounds, just a moment. Okay, now I don't know that I would, <coughs> it went off into the sink. I don't know that it would work with this because this thing is like super hard. It's what I made my coasters out of. Here are my coasters and that's the way I, reason why I did my coasters from these because they are hard and they hold up um, to heat and to cold. The only kind of heat of course is not fire, but I'm talking about when I sit a hot coffee cup on here, it holds onto it. So I don't know that that would work well like these because this is pliable. And the only reason why I used this again, because it um, it kind of holds the weight of the glass somewhat. Um, and it just forms, I don't know what you call it. It's a science thing. Um, it just holds and balances the weight of the glass. And I glued the candle on the inside in the video. I'll be showing you where I glued the bottom of the frame to the table because of the weight of the glass. When you buy a candle or when you use a candle jar, make sure it's a lightweight candle jar because there are some that are very heavy. Um, I'll show you a, a perfect example. This, this and this, I still got to peel some of this off. I was going to use this, but this thing is heavy. So I would not use this use these that are lightweight you can tell also because it has this heavy um, has more glass that's in here when they made this and this is this was one of those very expensive um candles i think like 15 or 20 something dollars this is like from um walmart that was like five or seven dollars and again i glued this uh candle or tea light candle holder in here that i got from the dollar tree but i found a remedy for holding now the weight of the frame. So you have this and then this, and then this becomes weighty. Well, this is light. The candle jar by itself is light. The tea light candle holder is light. And this is light. But when you start putting all of this together on top of this frame, which also I kept the glass in, and I only did that because the smallest one the glass was in it and wouldn't come out so and i like it with the glass in it it makes it look better then you got this on here and while i'm thinking about it using 
um, just a glue gun is not going to work. I would use um, permanent adhesive like E6000 or Fix-All from the Dollar Tree. Another thing that I thought of is the bottom of the napkin ring. It's something that would make this solid, like um, maybe a hard piece of cardboard or um, foam board. Foam board is easy to cut and I would cut it to fit in here perfectly. I'm sorry if my camera is going blurry here. Straighten out. But I would glue it in here with E6000 so that it sits on the frame perfectly. I'm going to put this frame back to put these three um, candle holder frames back together. And I'm going to show you the stand that I'm going to create it. But I would put something under this so that it can sit on the frame nicely. Now to hold the frame up itself after putting all that weight on, because again, you got this glass, this here feels like plexiglass, this glass, and then this candle jar, which is not that heavy, but when you start putting it all together to hold this up, it all becomes heavy. They have in the Dollar Tree those Lego blocks. You can glue them together to make one long piece to um, glue on both sides. That will take away from the exact look of the inspiration, but that's fine. So I'm bringing this just to show you an example. Just pretend this is one of the Lego blocks. Well, when you put this here and put one behind it and glue it tight and sit it, it's like a stand. And it's not rocking or going anywhere. It's going to hold the weight of that jar. Especially if you put something under this here or under the Dollar Tree nap ring if you use that. It gives something solid to sit on this narrow flat surface. Now, if you wanted to make this and make the frame a little wider, um, and I got these frames from the thrift store. I would get them and glue them together to make it one. Then sit it up. Um, I had, like I said, um, I think I said on my Instagram when I did these, these are items, and I even said it in this video or on my community page. These are things that I already had at home. So I was just just testing this out to see if it worked. And, I, and it does work. It's just that I didn't account for the weight of putting all of this together so you can even put two together and that might hold it i still would put something in front of it glue the um get some wood spray paint it gold and glue it together so it can be the stand for the candle holder and it sh and then it would definitely will have enough space up here to hold the candle piece here and sit up here it's not doing like a balancing act. But I wanted to kind of share with you all, as I was editing this video to show you this, I heard this crash. And the only thing that broke was one of the candle jars. Everything else was fine. So I just thought I'd share that with you all. And when I do make the stand for this, I will put it up on my community page. So let's get back to the video. Okay, here are three frames that I um, had for a while. I purchased these from the thrift store. The shortest one had something in it and that glass is actually glued to that frame. I'm showing you this because the picture hanger is actually screwed to it and they are staplers on there. This is part of three frames that I purchased. All three was $1.91. One of the frames I already used and spray painted in black and actually used it in a shorts video that I uploaded um, last week. And if you'd like to see that, I'll put that in the description box. But again, all three frames were $1.91 and these two were left of the three. And here I'm just sitting it up, kind of getting a feel of what I want it to look like. And again, this glass is glued to this frame. So since that was glued to the frame, I glued those two um, glass to those frames as well. And those are tennis balls that I got from the Dollar Tree. I've had them for a while. And then these old candle jars. Everything I'm using, I've already had. I ordered the spray paint like maybe two, three weeks ago. When I ordered this spray paint black and the gold, I always order, order them in a case. Um, and I'm showing you this um, top is already gold but I'm going to be spray painting it gold because the gold of the top is not the same shade 
of the spray paint. So I'll be spray painting all three of the tops. I'll be spray painting the frames, um, the golf balls as well. And I'm pulling this out because the jar does not sit all the way down in the top. It ends up sitting on top of the plastic and I want it to sit in. And I'll be end up gluing the jars to the bottom of the top. I won't be gluing the top part, but just the bottom of the jars to the top. And I'll be also um, actually getting six tops and spray painting them. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if you look in the inspiration picture, the top of the jar is gold. So I just decided I would use a top instead of trying to trim the gold or paint the trim of the glass gold. So I took these out. I'll be again gluing those all um, glasses in it, but I took the glass out of the picture frames, removing the labels and everything. And these are the little round circles from Scotch tape that you have. I end up spray painting those as well. I took the golf balls out, spray painted them in the box, but found out that wasn't good because when they rolled around in the box, the paint came off. So I ended up taking them out of the box, putting them on the Scotch tape rings and spray painting them, which caused them to adhere to the Scotch tape rings a little bit. And you'll see later down in the video, I'll be gluing them from the inside. Now coming up, I have the frames here. Again, those two, the glass is taken out and the other one, I just taped it because the glass is already glued and I didn't want it to be oversprayed upon. This step here was not a good idea. I should have primed this, the picture frames because the picture frames have a glossy finish on them and it's kind of like laminate. Um, not laminate, but I forget the name of that furniture that's shiny and smooth and it's not real wood, but it's kind of like that. You, I'm going to uh, bring the camera up close to and you'll see where it looks like it's scratchy. Well, that's the paint actually moving away from it. So what I did was I got this black Rust-Oleum paint that I had and I just sprayed it using it as a primer. But then I also noticed that there are some YouTubers who would use the black paint to allow the gold paint to even be more um, brilliant or more brighter. And it does work. So you saw where I did all the black here is I'm getting ready to put the uh, gold on top of that and it does work. The black causes the gold to stand out even more. And I like that. So I'll be spraying all three of these. I sprayed all six of the tops. Everything got gold spray paint except the glass that goes in the center of the frames and the candle jars. Okay, you saw where I was showing you the camera, like I was stating earlier, the paint caused the ball to adhere to the scotch tape ring. All I did is what you see me doing here now, I just put the glue on the inside. And I didn't put it there too much because I didn't want the ball to melt because again, that's plastic and so is the um, tissue ring. Okay, to share with you all why, why I'm using this. Now this is just, I have like six of these little sponge tubes and these came in a package that was in the mail and I just used them. Like I said, I always keep a lot of things that I think I can use for future projects. But the reason why I am using these is because of course the ball is round so it's not gonna sit on the frame flat and jar is not gonna sit on the flat. I didn't want to use the, the tape or the tissue or not tissue but the scotch tape ring because i noticed that um glue sticks on plastic is not good to be for permanent and i didn't have any fix all or any um, e6000 um so learning after you know showing you on the beginning how this fell i would say use a permanent adhesive so 
this doesn't come apart. So here I have glued all of the little sponge styrofoam pieces to the ball. The sponge piece is what's going to go on the top, which the glass will sit in. Now here, um, I'm everything is done. So I'm putting the piece together and I'm sitting the glass in it and letting it dry and why that's hardened. This here, you'll see I put the glass on top of the scotch tape ring and decided I didn't want to do that. So I turned the sponge part around and put that, which is what I did here. I put that on the bottom of the top, which the jar will be sitting in. So I'll be showing that, giving that an up close shot here in just a few seconds because I'll be cleaning the jar. And since everything is ready to be assembled, I'm just showing here. You see the sponges to the top. So that's the bottom of the jar and that's glued in. And then I put a jar on top. And here, this is where I was telling you on the beginning, I wouldn't do this. I was just thinking this through. I would get a circle piece to fit that perfectly. And then using some E6000 or Fix-All, not the glue gun, E6000 or Fix-All to sit that at the top of the frame or wherever you're gonna sit it. Because if you notice, um, if you look at the uh, inspiration picture, a glass is on the side, one is in the center, and one is on another side. So I think it's good to put two thick frames together to sit this on. And here it is coming up all completed. Like I said, I love the way it turned out. And I am going to redo this. And I'm going to use the methods that I shared with you all. And I might just order the frames because I'll still come out cheaper ordering them. And here, um, I think I will show you the middle one where it looks like it was actually welded. That's when the heat from the glue gun started melting right here, started melting the um, scotch tape ring. But again, I love the way it came out. And I think I'm going to order three more frames to just make it double instead of it being one frame. But I'd like to hear if you all have any suggestions of what you would do to make this stable. I would love to hear it. But again, I love this is trial and error and through my first trial that had an error I still love the way this came out so if this is your first time visiting my channel I want to thank you for stopping by and if you like what you see regardless of the mistakes you saw but learn from my mistakes and I shared some solutions I want to thank you for stopping by and consider subscribing give it a thumbs up if you like it and regardless of the error and I, again I would like to hear your comments and I want to thank everyone for stopping by for watching JRC restoration decor and designs and remember the distance between your dreams and reality is called action so until next time make it a blessed and productive day everyone bye bye